Anyway, folks, Norman Pedoritz is right. Economic sanctions did not stop Iran from pursuing the bomb. Economic sanctions stop them because, well, the Russians didn't didn't uh, didn't didn't. didn't obey them or or participate in them. The, the, the Iranians, I mean, they, they hurt. I mean, there's no question the sanctions harmed Iran's economy, but it, since Iran doesn't really care about its people the way an American president cares about his people or any Western democracy leader cares about his people, um, that wasn't a big deal. The, the bottom line is that sanctions did not stop them, and that's a form of coercion. Uh, mild warfare, economic warfare, didn't stop them. The only thing that will stop them is having their stocks taken out, and that's the only reason they're pretending to go along with this deal, because the deal will protect them from being bombed or attacked for the next 10 years while they continue to build up their stocks. Here's Greg in uh, in Lul as we head to the phones, and I'm glad you called, sir. Great to have you here. Hi, Raj. How are you today? Very well. Thank you. always enjoy talking to you. Thank you. Um, well, I have to disagree with you. I, I think with the, the problem that the neocons have and the people like Fedora who speak for the neocons is basically what they want. You know, we don't want we don't want Iran to have a nuclear weapon. But how far are you willing to go to stop it? Are you willing to start a war with Iran, which apparently is what Lindsey Graham and Norman Fedora and people like that want to do? And I, I think that's an unwise and undesirable thing to do. Um, so that, that's where we are. Well, then, where we are is the Iranians get their desired nukes and their desired program. And then, the Soviet Union fell without a war. The Soviet Union uh, collapsed without uh, the, the military confrontations because we outcompeted them economically. We outproduced them, and, we, and the government collapsed. Well, so but that's... It doesn't have to be a war. That, you don't have to have a war. That's, that's not really the sole reason. It wasn't simply you beat them economically. That happened every year. Right. They were defeated militarily. Now, well, a shot, we, we a shot wasn't war. fired, but they were defeated militarily. Well, let's defeat around the same way. Um, but the, Iranian, the, the Soviet Union was never led by religious fanatics who thought the apocalypse was their salvation. Soviet Union was led by a bunch of Marxists who didn't believe in religion. They were gods. It's it's a dangerous comparison, I think. Now, Pedoritz, I don't I don't know anybody's advocating war. I don't read that in his piece. He's just saying if you're really serious about stopping them, this is what it's going to take. And you can threaten it. You can do all kinds of things, none of which we are doing. The point is we're bending over the bottom line. Anyway, I appreciate the call. Greg, we have to go. Be right back. Don't...